Hey guys, Roman Pellucci here, quantitative researcher and trader, founder of Quant Guild. You all have been asking me for quite some time for book recommendations, a reading list. So what I've done is I've compiled a list of what I consider to be the most important books that I've had throughout my journey in quantitative finance. I have categorized them into one of three categories. I have what I consider to be books that have shaped the way that I think about trading. I have books that have shaped the way that I think about modeling and books that are very important to me that have grounded myself throughout my entire journey. What we'll do is we'll just go through these categories one by one. I will tell you how each book has impacted me and how it's impacted my industry applications. Up first in the trading category, we have Natenberg's option volatility and pricing. Now, I'll never forget my first option trade. It was about 10 years ago and I made roughly $700, but I had no idea why. If I had Natenberg's book, I would have understood the portfolio exposures, which led to that PL. Now, this is the book that sits on every option trader's desk. It isn't just a great introduction to the pricing theory, but it also covers a variety of strategies. And that gets into my main point in making this video. These books, I don't intend for you to read cover to cover, and I also don't intend for them to sit on your shelf. What you need to do is you need to use these books effectively as the classroom, the lab. You can always go back to the classroom and lab to understand the theory, but go out into the real world and try to implement what you've learned. That is how you accumulate experience in this industry. So that goes for every book that I'm about to list off to you here. The reason why they've made such an impact on me and my career is because I've used them effectively as my classroom. Then I go out in the real world, I see what works, I see what doesn't, and reevaluate from there. So Natenberg's option volatility and pricing has earned itself a spot in my trading category. Up next, two books that have had a profound impact on my quantitative trading. We have Advances in Financial Machine Learning and Inside the Black Box. Now, I will say advances in financial machine learning is a heavy read. This does require a level of math, probability, and statistics, even machine learning and data science, artificial intelligence before reading it. But it does offer insight into the current state of the industry. So I highly recommend this book if you already have a very strong technical background. If not, getting started with Inside the Black Box is a phenomenal place to start because this has what I believe to be the single most profound quote that I've read in a book when I was coming up as a quant. I have it marked here. And that is in the context of an R squared value and return predictability. As another quant trader put it, people have gotten rich off of a 0 0.02 R squared. A former employee of mine once said, if you see an R squared above 0.15 and it's not because you made a mistake, run the other way because the SEC will arrest you for insider trading. So this book has shaped the way that I view quantitative trading. I highly recommend it. This has effectively been on my mind every single time I have developed a trading strategy or conducted quantitative research. That is my formal recommendation for you if you're interested in getting started with quantitative trading. You have advances in financial machine learning and inside the black box. Moving on to the modeling category, I'm gonna focus specifically on this idea of data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep learning, whatever you wanna call it. And I think as you're getting involved in the quant space, it's really important to be able to understand the entire model development pipeline from data acquisition to cleaning, pre-processing, feature engineering, effectively selecting a model for the problem you're trying to tackle, evaluating that model. These are 
are not trivial tasks. These are full-time jobs. So these two books have greatly impacted the way that I view this entire development life cycle. That is hands-on machine learning with scikit-learn and TensorFlow and deep learning with Python, Francis Chouellet. It's, it's hard not to bring this guy up anytime you talk about deep learning. This very well may be the best book that I have read in the context of deep learning, in particular with Python. I will say these are not cover to cover reads. I want to stress that throughout this list. Your objective is to use these as the lab, learn all of these different techniques for data acquisition, feature engineering, and then try them in the real world. Build your own projects, see what works, see what doesn't work, then go back to the classroom and reevaluate. So these books have shaped the way that I go about building my data science pipelines all the way from data acquisition to model deployment. If you've been following my work for quite some time, then you'll know one of my primary research interests is in using alternative data to produce equity alpha. And alternative data can mean a lot of things. It could mean text data, images, videos. It could even be text that's extracted from images. In any case, you can't get away from this idea of textual analysis. So if you're looking to get involved in the alt data space, then I would recommend you get this book, Getting Started with Natural Language Processing. If you're looking to produce signal from alternative data sources, then textual analysis is a great place to start. Extracting signal from these data sources can be very complicated, but it's also one of the primary uses of machine learning and artificial intelligence in the quant trading space. It isn't directly on the price path. This is what most people miss. You're building these models to produce and extract signal from these alt data sources. So if you're unfamiliar with how to put these pipelines together or how to conduct analysis like this on alternative data, I highly recommend this as a starting point. Now, like I said, you can't get away from this idea of textual analysis, especially if you're interested in working with alternative data and producing quantitative trading signals. Moreover, due to the prevalence of large language models, you can't get away with not understanding the transformer architecture and how language models work. Things like ChatGBT, Gemini, Cloud, the list goes on. And that is why I recommend the 100 page language models book. There's a very big difference between language modeling tasks and tasks like sentiment analysis. That is what these books are facilitating. They're hopefully going to introduce you to this space so that you can understand all of these different tasks and the models that help facilitate their solutions. This book here is a great introduction to the transformer architecture. It's not a deep dive by any means, but if you're unfamiliar with the generative structure itself, I wouldn't recommend any other place to start. The last book in this modeling category comes from necessity. I've had a lot of student meetings over the past couple of weeks, and a reoccurring theme in all of them is weak linear algebra. Whether you are looking to price financial instruments, whether you are looking to implement some sort of machine learning model, you cannot get away from linear algebra. Everything that we do is effectively a matrix or a vector, whether we are simulating some sort of process or we are doing dimensionality reduction on a data set, which is why if you have a weak or non-existent linear algebra background, I recommend linear algebra done right. Every now and again, I'll crack this guy open and I will do some practice problems just to refresh my memory. This is how I wish I learned linear algebra the first time that I went through the course. So if you have a weak background or a non-existent background, highly recommend linear algebra done right. Again, it is on this list by necessity. Before we move on to the books that have grounded me throughout my entire quant journey, I want to list some honorable mentions in the context of pricing financial 
derivatives. The first book that I ever read in this space was Pricing and Hedging Financial Derivatives. And I must say, when I first read this book, I did not have the necessary finance, math, or even probability and statistics to fully appreciate it. These are certainly heavier reads and they require a prerequisite level of these subjects, but nevertheless, I would be remiss if I didn't mention them on this list. This is the first book that I read in the space, but my favorite is Mathematical Modeling and Computation in Finance. This book covers pretty much everything you need to know about pricing financial derivatives. It also has accompanying code in Python and MATLAB. And when I say this covers everything, I mean it covers everything. It's effectively a textbook if you're looking for the characteristic function of a particular process, if you're looking for a moment generating function, if you're looking for how to discretize a particular model, this book will certainly have it. So I highly recommend these if you're interested in the pricing of financial derivatives. Again, they certainly require prerequisite knowledge, but look no further if you need a solid textbook for this subject. These last three books have nothing to do with quantitative finance, but I would not be where I am today without them. I think it's very important if you're going to get involved in a space where so much is out of your control and so much changes so quickly over time to ground yourself in something that makes sense to you. And these books have made a lot of sense to me over the years. The first book is going to be Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. The second is going to be Marcus Aurelius's Meditations. And the third is my favorite book of all time, and that is Epictetus's Discourses and Selected Writings. All of these books focus on the Stoic philosophy, which in a nutshell tells you to focus on what you can control, a phenomenal sentiment for a career as a quant, when so much is out of your hands. This has helped shape the way that I not just tackle things professionally, but also personally, and how I set goals and make progress towards them. I'll never forget when I first learned of Meditations. This was the first of these three books that I had read. It was probably seven years ago, maybe even eight at this point, and I very quickly became obsessed. I got a series of different translations, and I tried to see where the translator's interpretations differed, so on and so forth. This quickly led me to Ryan Holiday and my favorite book of his, that is Ego is the Enemy, focusing not just on the outcome, but making progress, staying humble, and actually doing, not just speaking of doing, putting in the work, making things happen, building things, and focusing on what you can control. And the last, of course, Epictetus' Discourses. <laughs> I've read this book probably over a thousand times. I have, I, I can't even count how many flags in it, how many flags I've moved and added, removed. And I got to say, I think this book has shaped me. It has shaped the way that I think pretty much about everything and how I go about my my day to day, make progress towards my goals and deal with, with different challenges. With that, we've covered everything on my recommended reading list. Again, I do not recommend that you read these books cover to cover. Instead, treat them as your classroom. Acquire new technical skills, go out into the real world, see what works see what doesn't work, then go back to the classroom and reassess. This is how you accumulate experience as a quant. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. This certainly was a fun one to put together. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like it in the future, please like, comment, subscribe, share. It helps me out tremendously. It is always greatly appreciated. If you'd like to master your quantitative skills, check out quantguild.com. 
If you'd like to connect with me and other quants in the Quant Guild community, join our Discord. I'll leave a link in the description below. Other than that, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.